As I explained in a video approximately two weeks ago about why the Tesla Model Y and Juniper was delayed. The reason is these new batteries from CATL. The M3P battery, it's finally confirmed it is definitely going to be in Tesla's new vehicles, definitely going to be the new Model Y. It would mean the Model Y could have up to a thousand kilometers or 600 miles of range in its longest range version. Now, I can't say for sure that it will, but if you look at the energy density of these batteries, it's around 40% higher than the energy density of Tesla's existing batteries. And CATL have confirmed that Tesla is using these batteries in their next generation cars. Could they also come to the Model 3? In addition to the Model Y? I'd say yes. When? Well, here's what I think will happen. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Miking. Great to see you. Yeah, we've been waiting for a long time for these M3P batteries. A lot of people are thinking, well, what is an M3P battery? It is quite confusing because it's not a ternary battery. It's not an NCMA chemistry, a nickel cobalt manganese chemistry. Um, it's not one of these new lithium ion phosphate batteries from CATL that would have won so many awards and then started going into new cars in China. It's neither of those. It's an in-between battery. Anyhow, it's been confirmed by Chinese media today that the M3P battery will be installed in Tesla's models as soon as the battery um, has completed some kind of validation testing. Now, I think this sounds false to me. The reason I say that is because these batteries have already rolled out in uh, Huawei's. They're actually in Huawei's new electric car, which is called the Luxseed S7. The Luxseed S7 is a vehicle similar in size to the Tesla Model S. In the Luxseed S7, the S7 gets 855 kilometers of range from this new M3P battery pack. Now, it's not a Tesla exclusive product. If you're thinking, oh, this is something that's going to take a while because Tesla are working on it with CATL, it's not actually the case. The reality is here, guys, that these batteries have already been validated and tested and they're already being sold in EVs right now. So it's really probably not going to be very long before we see these batteries come out in new Tesla vehicles. What is the M3P battery? What is the difference? Well, M3P batteries are CATL's newest batteries based on a new material system that has a significantly higher energy density than lithium iron phosphate batteries, which are used in Tesla's current cheapest model, the Model 3 and the Model Y. And they have a lower cost than ternary batteries. So they're relatively affordable. The cost apparently is pretty close to the cost of a lithium ion phosphate battery, but they charge faster and they have more range. The M3P battery is kind of like a lithium ion phosphate battery that uses manganese as well as lithium iron and phosphate. So that's the big change there. Energy density is improved. Charging speeds theoretically are better. I mean, here, this gives you some context on just how insanely fast these batteries can charge. Huawei say that the S7 charges 215 kilometers, so about 150 miles of range in five minutes. In 10 minutes, you can add 410 kilometers of range. So you can add nearly three, probably about 270 miles of range in a 15 minute charge. 15 minutes basically to charge the battery pack to 80%. It's going to be a big change. That's the reason the Tesla Model Y has been delayed. The Juniper model has been delayed for these batteries. You can imagine the big difference, right? Imagine if Tesla made all the changes to the Model Y that they've made to the Model 3. It had all those great changes that looked excellent, but the battery packs were the same. People would be a little bit disappointed. Tesla wants these M3P batteries in the new version of the Model Y, the Juniper, which will give it a range that will beat its rivals. It will unquestionably beat its rivals. There is currently no other vehicle in that segment that's capable of getting possibly a thousand kilometers of range, 600 miles of range. In the long range version of the Model Y, Tesla, I'm gonna guess they'll come in with something a bit smaller than that, probably make the battery pack smaller. What is that gonna do? The Model Y is already the lightest vehicle of its size in the segment, right? It weighs, it weighs under 2000 kilograms. I believe it weighs about 1,900 kilograms. It's already the lightest. They'll probably make that vehicle even lighter by having these lighter battery packs. That will give it more range. My estimation would be probably approximately 380 miles of range for the long range Model Y, but that's not gonna come out until probably the fourth quarter of this year. You can see here, really the big issue is this. This is what it comes down to, mass production. Now CATL, they can easily make enough batteries for 
Huawei. I mean, Huawei are not selling that many of the S7. They're a new car brand. They're only sold in China. But if you're trying to supply Tesla, you're trying to supply the number one best-selling vehicle in the world. They sold more than a million last year. You need a lot of the battery packs. You can't just have a small production line. You need a massive production line. You need lots of staff. You need the factory set up. That's what the delay is. The delay for Juniper has nothing to do with anything else except for this battery production, mass production. They need, they need probably in excess of 100 gigawatt hours, maybe 150 gigawatt hours of battery production for the Model Y because this will be the best selling car in the world again once it has these changes. Imagine it has the Model 3 changes plus new battery pack giving it a lighter body weight and way more range much, much faster charging. You're probably looking at in excess of 350 kilowatt charging speeds for the new Model Y. This is what it all comes down to. The new M3P battery will revolutionize Tesla's vehicles. Anyone using this battery, they're gonna be really presenting a game-changing step up in technology. The difference between the old Tesla Model Y and the new Model Y will be so big that the resale value for the old version will plummet. It's worth keeping that in mind. Thanks for watching.